Scott Hargrove, Daniel Murad leading through turn number one in our GT category. GTA Martin Fuentes right now over Rodrigo Baptista. Spencer Pompelli had an incident yesterday. Alvaro Parent and his Bentley had an incident yesterday as well. It looks like Yuki Hirata on the exit of turn number three in his Dream Racing Lamborghini up against the wall. The replay there on the big screens of Yuki Hirata just getting on the power. A little bit too soon coming through turn three, looping that car around and catching the wall. He's still in the green in second place is the car that started on the second row, Daniel Moran, also Mike Hargo from Canada. Well, Martin Fuente is defending against the Bentley of Rodrigo Baptista from K-Pax Racing. Good battle scrap there for our overall lead in our GTA category. Out front it is Scott Hargrove who is uh, edging away at the front of the field at the moment. As there's a replay of Alvaro Print getting around Parker Chase as Alvaro says, I think everything's okay with the car. Kyle was going down to the inside of Murad, trying to make that move down to number one, and Daniel gives way, lets the Corvette through, trying to see if he can do an over-under and stay right there with him. And here comes our GT Am leader, Martin Fuentes, in that Hublot Ferrari. Who was that brushing the wall? Was that Dan Tony Villander? Oh, Villander into the wall. Oh. And that, that corner turns me, it's not flat out in these cars. Uh, for, uh, and he's made heavy contact with that wall, a lot of damage to the right, left front on that uh, half ferry most of the That is really unlike Vlander to make a mistake like that. We do go full course yellow now, uh, unfortunately on that straightaway there. And then made a heavy impact with the outside retaining wall. That's a big crash yep. for Tony Vlander. Scott Hargrove goes and we are back under racing again. Green flag to restart. Early World Challenge, race number two for GT and GTA coming down here into turn number one. We'll see, the guy that I really want to watch now is going to be Alvaro Print in that Bentley. He's able to catch back up to the field. He knows his car is at least operable. Let's see if he can start making some moves. Oh, no, damage there to Spencer Pompelli. Looks like he has, and that is damage because he's missing the rear wing. We have a full course yellow once again. If we can see here what happens. This comes through turn number three. Got off in the gravel there and slid out, just pushed off into the side again. Daniel Morag going to see if he can protect against Michael Christianson as they go green again. Back to sixth place, or up to sixth place now, it is Alvaro Perret. As you see Hargrove protect down to the inside into turn number one. Whoops, and then actually runs a little bit deep into the corner as well. well he's got Daniel Morad looking to the inside too. Side by side, it is Hargrove, and that's going to hold up Morad. He had to check up big time not to get in the back of the Callaway. Michael Christensen checking up as well as they come down through turn number five, back through six, and onto the little short straightaway into turn number seven. 37 years of age now from Can Kampa in Finland. Been a factory driver for a long time, that's a big accident. Oh, that is the Bentley of Alvaro Parent. Wow, that's huge incident there. That's and you gotta think that, that perhaps that's in a braking zone there. Looks like he went straight on too. Let's take a quick look here and see what we see here as he comes down in out of the kink. Oh yeah, Jeremy, just no brakes whatsoever. Yeah. yeah, just went straight on in and what a oh just a doesn't that, that is what, just what, a, what a great job. Look at that. Did. Oh, yeah, man, the speed just there. Just a miserable straight. feeling, too, as a driver having a brake problem and a brake failure. And it is a red flag, 10 and a half minutes to go. The clock does stop. And it is going to be a checkered flag on the session, so the race will be over. Not the circumstances that anybody wants to finish a race under.